All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect an associated website with your YouTube channel so that it can be clickable on your YouTube videos. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to your Creator Studio and click on your channel. And you will wanna just make sure that your YouTube channel is in good standing with YouTube, uh, that you haven't violated any of their rules. And so if you have all the green lights there, you can go over and click the Advanced tab. And that'll take you to this page where if you just scroll down a little bit, it'll say associated website and you can actually type in the website that you want to associate with your YouTube channel. Okay, and it says that in order to associate this website, I have to verify that I own it first. So what you're gonna wanna do to verify ownership of the website is first go to Google Webmaster Tools and the way you can get there is just by searching on Google Webmaster Tools. And you'll click that first one, which will take you to Google Webmaster Tools. Now, I'm already logged into my Gmail Google account, so you can see that uh, all my websites that I've claimed already are populated right there. Chances are pretty good that yours might be blank if you're watching this video because you want to understand how to add a website for the first time. So yours is probably going to look blank once you've logged into your webmaster tools. Next thing you're gonna do is click the red button there. It says add a property and then add the website URL that you want to add and claim ownership of. And then it'll take you to this page where you can choose several different options of how to verify ownership. So this first one is the one we're gonna to do today which is an HTML file upload. And the way that you do this is just by clicking that button that says HTML verification file. But before we actually do that, let me show you the other methods that they give you. First one is an HTML tag. You'll just copy and paste that tag there and stick it in the head section of your home page on the website. The next thing that you can do is go to the place where you purchased your domain name and there'll be instructions for how you can verify it that way using your username and password. Uh, next thing is through your Google Analytics. If you've signed up for Google Analytics, you can do that. And then uh, Google Tags Manager. Let's go back to the way that we're actually going to do it, the recommended method, by downloading and saving this HTML file. So you just save that file. And then uh, you're going to upload that file to the root directory. And I'm going to do that by going to my cPanel and going to my file manager. You can also use an FTP client like FileZilla to do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna do it for my cPanel. So here we are in the root directory of the website and you're just gonna upload that file that we just downloaded to the root directory. It's called Google, so it's easy to find there. Once it's uploaded, we'll go back and just make sure that it is, and there it is right there. That Google tag right there is uploaded to the root. We'll go right back and click the verify button in Google Webmaster Tools and it says congratulations you've successfully done it. So we have claimed ownership to the website. Now we can go back to YouTube and click the refresh button and there we go. Your website is now an associated website with your YouTube channel. So now let's go up to our video manager and we will actually add the website to one of our videos. So I'm just going to click edit here and this is a video of my kids dancing. So I'm going to go over to the cards section. We're going to add a card. And on the card, we will add our associated website now so people can actually click on the video. And it'll go to our website that we just associated with our YouTube channel. So I'm just going to type in the website right here. And then we'll wait for it to populate here. We can change some of the text and the pictures around to set up our card and then create the card and then our card has been added so if you play the video and click on the information button when you click the link there that'll take you to the website and that is how you add an associated website to your YouTube channel if this video has been helpful for you please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions go ahead and submit those in the comment section below so thanks for watching and hope you have a great day